Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Another video with the Golf R today. Things are really getting exciting. Of course, you would have seen in the last video on the channel that we had some more crazy aero fitted to the car in the form of the chassis mounted front splitter, the wide rear arches, all done by Aero Motorsport. Oh, and the side skirts as well. That obviously matches uh, the carbon bonnet and carbon wings, which we've got done at Auto ID recently, and also the MGC uh, fully adjustable rear spoiler kit. So it's all going on, but there is one final piece of the puzzle which we need to get done. Fairly obviously, I mentioned it in the last video, is the wheels. So we are here today at Swift Performance to have a new wheel and tire setup. It's gonna really finish it off because at the moment, it looks a little bit strange with the big wide arches and then the little wheels tucked in. So we'll get the car in. There's a few other bits which are having done today as well, so I'll explain that. But yeah, it's new wheel and tire day for the track spec Golf R. In goes the car then into the first workshop bay. I've also got the second bay in there, which we'll be going into uh, a little bit later on. Still so cool seeing your car on the move, especially with all new bits fitted on it as well. However, over here, we have some of the parts which we are fitting as well as the new wheels and tires today. In here, we have a set of new front pads from Ford Motorsport. So we've got a new set of ceramic pads in there for the front. The ones on the car currently are very low. But yeah, how cool does that look? <laughs> um, so yeah, those are going on. And we've also got a new ABS sensor just because uh, we've got that, uh, which is faulty on the driver's side rear at the moment. But yeah, I think the plan is first to get those bits fitted because if I come over here, I can show you that unfortunately the pads are pretty low. You're not going to see that at the moment, but yeah, we'll get it up in the air, get that done, and then it'll be time to get onto the wheels and tires. They've definitely seen better days. <laughs> I was aware that they were low. There's plenty left in there. Put that back in, mate. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, pads out on the offside. Yeah, they are very low. Okay, new set of, you know, this is a good little table actually. <laughs> new set of ceramic pads compared to what has come off. Yeah, yeah, they definitely needed doing. <laughs> Okay, it's getting a little loud in the workshop now. I'll explain that in a moment. Pads now are done. Uh, we've also taken out the arch liner and I will wander around to the other side of the car to explain why. We are doing more cutting. <laughs> We're cutting it up even more. So obviously when the car was at the area, the uh, rear arches were cut back. You see a little bit on the bumper here, just so then we can then mount the rear arches, of course. The rear tailgate has also been cut up and had some drills uh, and had some holes drilled into it for the wing. And now we're doing some more cutting with the front to basically make more room for the wheels. Now, these wings are carbon actually. And to be honest, if you watched the last video with Area Motorsport, when all of the front splitter and rear arches were fitted, I did mention that we were going to be cutting a little bit back. That wasn't actually done in the end, so hence why we're here today, not only to have the wheels fitted, but also to have these cut back. And you can see now that the car's up on the ramp, how much of a lift we've got there. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty sizable uh, amount of material in there. I mean, what, that much, if I put my fingers up in there. So yeah, we're gonna be cutting that back. I think Tim has just finished on the other side. We're gonna be leaving the arch liner out as well, just so we can have enough or as much space as possible. However, one cool thing is I now have a functional vent up in there, up here, because beforehand it was obviously covered by the arch liner. So that's pretty cool. That is now a fully functional vent in there. <laughs> pretty cool. Anyway, round here. Oh, let's see how it's getting on. Nice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> fully carbon wings being cut up. Free thread carbon, not ideal, but race car. Race car indeed. So yeah, that side will be done, then this side, then we've got to fit the ABS sensor still uh, to the rear, uh, driver's side rear, and then it'll be time to get the wheels. In fact, I haven't even shown you the wheels yet, so we'll get that done shortly as well. It is a horrible noise. <laughs> All for a good cause. <laughs> oh, dear me. Is that pretty much how? Ooh, clearance. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we've got a problem. Um, 
A big problem. Well, a fairly big problem. One which has kind of scuppered plans somewhat, um, but let me explain. Up until now, we have, of course, uh, cut away what we think will be enough of the uh, front arch on the near side. We have just tried to test fit one of the wheels and the wheels I will show you very shortly. However, we have a clearance issue. Now, this is the canister as part of the KW Club Sport coilover kit. And that is basically, well, the wheel is hitting it essentially when we try and fit it onto the hub. Um, now, what will solve this is some eight or 10 millimeter spaces. Um, which again is a fairly straightforward thing to, to fit and everything and shouldn't really cause too much of an issue, at least for this. We don't know yet if there's any other issues with clearance. I can see actually here where even the 235s have actually been kind of rubbing on that there. And it was the same on the arch liner before we ripped that off uh, on here as well. Um, however, due to what time it is, we cannot get the spaces until tomorrow. And obviously I was planning on driving the car home tonight. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely not gone to plan. Um, now we've made some calls and the very kind folk at IBAC have helped us out and is, well, gonna get a set down here as soon as we can. Uh, it's only an issue with the front. So either eight mil or 10 mil spacers will or should fix the problem. But yeah, basically, as you were putting the wheel on, it was basically just hitting the canister on here. They are big wheels and I will show you in a second as well, so you'll see what I mean. Um, but hopefully, at least the arch uh, is kind of, well, it, it's, we've got enough clearance now, hopefully, for it all to be okay. Um, but yeah, that is not good at all, <laughs> but it's never straightforward. So long and short of it, we have spaces on their way and a big thank you actually goes to IBAC uh, for helping us out such last minute. So they will be arriving later on in the video or tomorrow for us next day shipping. So thank you again to those guys. However, enough of that. I need to show you the new wheels because when they do fit on this car, they are gonna look insane. How insane do these things look? These are the two Forge ZF1 wheels finished in gunmetal gray. Some serious concave on these things. I mean, they look absolutely wild. They are a 10 by 18, so they're a 10J uh, on an 18 inch. We're running a square setup, of course, of a 265-35-18. And these are actually Trofeo R's, which I'm gonna be trying out uh, on the car first. Uh, a big thank you and shout out actually to EST Performance, of course, you will know those guys from the tuning and work going on on the A45S. They've actually donated these tires. They are part worn, but these will be okay just for some uh, casual track day use, uh, which they've been using on their race cars. But yeah, what do you all think of these? These are gonna look absolutely insane on the car when they fit, that is, thanks to the spacers, uh, which hopefully are gonna save the day. As I mentioned, gunmetal gray, it's a gloss finish. Um, but yeah, they look absolutely stunning. A multi-spoke in some situations, slightly similar to what we've got on the car already. Just more spokes, but a similar color. Uh, this is actually a brushed finish, as you might be able to see looking up close. And yes, we are aware that some of the wheel bolts are missing. We've just been doing some testing. Uh, but yeah, farewell to the Aspiris. Of course, the wheels, which I replaced the standard ones with early on in the build. But yeah, what do you all think of these? Let me know down in the comments. But I think the plan is eventually to get the rears uh, all fitted up because there should be no issues with fitment on the rears due to all the work which has already gone on. So I think we'll do that shortly, but I cannot wait to see what this thing's gonna look like with these new wheels fitted. Okay, rears now fitted, obviously no issues with that. Just gonna double check it comes down to the ground for the first time. Ooh. <laughs> of course, we've still got the Aspiris on the front for now, but just to get a glimpse of what it's gonna look like, that is pretty nuts. Multi-spoke really suits it. Sitting pretty flush as well. Of course, suspension and geo is still as it was from before, so the guys are obviously gonna do some tweaks to that um, where needed, but yeah, that is, that is incredible. That is absolutely nuts. <laughs> Out the car comes then with its mismatched wheels. <laughs> Cannot wait to see what this thing's gonna look like when it's all done. However, those rears look incredible. Look at that now, you can see the vision, see what it's gonna look like once it's all done. Love the multi-spoke. When that's at speed, that's gonna look incredible as well. 
But yeah, for the time being, we're going to be running mismatched wheels. Welcome back. We are now back at Swift Performance. The Golf is here and it is all ready now with the wheels fully fitted, problem solved. And yeah, I, I, I've seen it. It looks absolutely mega. And do you know, before I show you the car in its finished form, in all its glory, I've got to say a big, big, big thank you to Tim and Russ uh, from Swift Performance for literally pulling out all the stops to get this thing ready for me. Because I'm actually now going on a trip literally after I finish this video. So it's been very last minute. So a huge thank you to them for literally making it still possible for me to take this car on a nice little road trip. But I mean, look, you've seen the wheels already. You know what they look like, but you haven't seen it completely finished and all in its glory. So check this out. There we go. Car's getting started up, moved outside. Cannot wait to see this car out on the move. Wheels in motion. Absolutely mega. I mean, how nuts does that look outside in the sun now? Holy smokes. Yeah, this is, this is proper. This is absolutely proper. And I know that the recent video, in fact, the last video on the channel when we had the front splitter and uh, rear arches and also the side skirts fitted, a lot of people hated it. Some of the comments in that video were, pretty outrageous uh, if I do say so but I mean the wheels were going on shortly after dare I ask what do you think now does it make sense personally I absolutely love it so I mean you can hate it all you want but this car whilst it is built to be showcased on this channel it is also a car for me I built it to my specification I will never sell this car and for that I absolutely love it it looks incredible way better than I could ever have imagined it's really turning into uh, a bit of a beast, a bit of a beast indeed. But of course today we have had the brand new wheels fitted to the car, the brand new setup. We've got the Two Forge ZF1 uh, in gunmetal gray, which is a lovely gloss gray, which is very similar to the color that was previously on the car, the Aspiris, but it's also similar to, uh, well, the other secondary color in the form of the cage uh, and everything like that, and also matches the mirrors a little bit as well. I didn't want to go black wheels. I didn't really want to go silver wheels just yet. I definitely didn't want to go white wheels, and I think this just looks absolutely perfect. That angle up there, it is absolutely ludicrous. It's a 265-35-18 square setup that we're running on a set of Trofeo R's as well, just to remind you as well. But yeah, I mean, there's just so many angles of this car now. So many angles. And as I kind of briefly hinted about, yes, this is going to quite a famous place in mainland Europe very soon. In fact, I'm on my way there now, literally after filming this video. So stay tuned for all of that. But yes, I am absolutely over the moon. Can find all the details to not only Swift Performance, but also to Two Forge. You see their range of the fitment for the ZF1 and also their other wheels all down in the description. Go check them out. And uh, yeah, if you want a set of wheels for your track car, want some semi-forged wheels, then check them out. All details down in the description, as I said. Anyway, that is gonna wrap things up for me today. As you can tell, I am absolutely over the moon with how this thing looks. I, yeah, absolutely nuts to think that this is my car and will be my forever car. I will never, ever sell it. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned, you can find all the details to both Swift and to Forge down in the description. Go check them out if you want anything, well, to do with your maintenance on your car and also set new wheels uh, and so on and so forth. But as I said, that is it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.